Hey everyone, Marshall Mind here and welcome back to another video. Today I am bringing you guys a commentary. It's been a while since I did one of these, but this one, this one kind of just happened. Now, this is going to be fighter update number two, and for this is going to be Anthony Showtime Pettis in the featherweight division. He has been added to the featherweight division, and that is very, very exciting to me, because the more fighters we have, the more strikers we have to face against Conor McGregor, the better that division is, the more competitive that division is, the more fun that division is so for this fight i was using anthony showtime pettis and i actually was not recording this fight i did not mean to record this fight i just wanted to see what anthony pettis felt like see what move sets they gave him in the featherweight division and this fight ended up being very good i really enjoyed the way i performed in it as you can see right there i am facing miles jury and this miles jury uh player he wanted to you know to counter strike so as you can see right there he is backing up He's trying to block his head and block his body. He's moving backwards, trying to see if he can catch me with some combinations coming in. With Anthony Pettis, all I'm doing right here is I am just inching my way forward. I'm inching my way forward. I am looking for the body kicks. Now, when I push forward, I don't go full commit. I don't really do that. I try to give myself enough room to be able to defend against whatever they want to throw at me. If it's head kicks, I need enough time to see the head kick coming so I can block it. I need enough time to see it so I can sway it and so I can counter off it so so right there I'm going for leg kicks I'm trying to get ahead of them when it comes to significant strikes landed I want to make sure that I am winning every single round because this right here is a three round fight it is not a championship fight BAM I am landing leg kicks I trip them right there it's not a championship fight and when it's not a championship fight you have to be very careful and make sure that you're winning every single round because you're not going to have the luxury of saying I'm going to wait for him to gas himself out and then I'm going to finish him in the later rounds. You kind of have to pick things up right away and start doing damage, start landing those uh, significant strikes. So he's pushing forward a little bit as always we're going to move back. We're going to use our sways and we're going to try to land body kicks. But Anthony Showtime Pettis, it is all about body kicks. How many fights has this guy ended with body kicks? How many opponents has he completely devastated with those nasty, nasty body kicks? So right there, we're in the, in the single collar uh, uh, clinch. I believe I go for the tie plum right there. He gets back the single collar. He is going to fake a transition and he is going to get the fight to the ground. That is very difficult to deal with when you're facing an opponent that fakes transitions in the clinch. But he gets me to the ground. Right there, he's on top of me in half guard. I'm trying to make my way back to full guard. Boom, we get back to full guard. I'm going to try to see if I can reverse this position. Nope, we get back up, stand up. We're now in the blue corner. He pushes forward, tries to get me in the Muay Thai plum again. I'm able to defend against that. I'm landing the leg kicks. Leg kick one more time. Stamina is going down a little bit. Leg kick again, pushing forward a little bit. He tries to get me in the Muay Thai plum. I land one more leg kick. You can see right there, he is getting devastated with those leg kicks. That is significant strikes. You have to be very careful. So, when it comes to Anthony Pettis in the featherweight division, um, after this fight, I used him quite a few times. And my verdict on Pettis is that he feels great. He feels absolutely amazing. I couldn't be happier with Pettis in the featherweight division. Like I said when this video first started, if there's any fighter that I would like to use against Conor McGregor, it is Anthony Pettis. He is also a striker. He has the height. He has the reach. He has the power to give Conor McGregor some trouble if you use him properly. So... First round is over. I believe I won the first round, as you can see right there, landing those nasty leg kicks. Round number two is about to start. We're going to pick it right, right where we left off, and we're going to push forward against Miles Jury. Now, my opponent, right there, I try to touch gloves here. He refuses. My opponent was trying to counter shot. He was moving backwards and trying to counter. But like I always say, man, he was not countering properly. He was not using his lunges. He was not sidestepping properly. He was kind of just depending on moving around the cage. And that's not enough. That's not enough at all. That's going to get you trapped against the cage. And right there, he's trying to kick my leg over again. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Probably trying to kick my legs off under, under me and get me on the ground. Probably what he's doing. But I am just trying to counter. Pushing forward a little bit. 
Go for the body kicks now. That was a leg kick. Land the body kick. Body kick straight. I'm gonna land straight. Body kick straight. He is rocked. Push him backwards. Land a spinning kick to the body. Oh my god, Malzuri is so hurt. And right here, the beatdown begins. I have no clue why my opponent decided to stand against the cage like that. Just trying to block high and low. His face is all busted up. I'm standing right in front of him, Muay Thai style. This right here is the classic Muay Thai style where they stand right in front of you and just land combinations after combinations and just fire off shots to your body, to your head, head kicks, body kicks. Miles Jury is backing up. He is gushing blood everywhere as I land that body kick. I'm going to start doubling up the body kicks now. He's still fighting back, but it's not doing anything. Body kick. Straight, left hook, jab straight, straight, I'm gonna go for a body kick, try to double it up, land a head kick, body kick, straight, he's hurt again, body kick, body kick, double it up, push him backwards, body kick again, body kick again, he is hurt again, getting destroyed, straight, he is hurt again, get off the cage, Miles Jury, what are you doing, bro, I'm pushing him backwards, pushing him backwards, he is so freaking hurt right now. Body kick again. Uppercut does not land. I'm going to measure him. Measure him and land that switch. Body kick. Switch. Fight is over. No need to go back in and finish him off. Miles Jury is done. Guys, you do not want to stand with your back against the cage like that. You will get lit up. You will get picked apart. And you will get finished. Hope you guys enjoyed that performance with Pettis. He feels absolutely amazing, he is very competitive, and he is the Conor McGregor killer in that division right now. And if you want to give yourself a chance against a guy like Conor McGregor, pick Anthony Pettis and try to put on some clinical, technical kickboxing. I hope Anthony Pettis has a very, very good run in the featherweight division. I really like that guy. I love his fight style. I love the way he approaches the fight game. And I really hope that he finds success in the featherweight division. Hopefully one day we get to see him versus Conor McGregor. I believe that will be an impressive, amazing fight. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for all your support. It means a lot to me. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next fighter request which is coming very very shortly be safe guys and have a wonderful day